Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is your Wednesday edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. So you might well have heard this one, it's interesting. MP for Tottenham, David Lammy, has come out and said that he went to a dinner where he was sat next to Sir Alex Ferguson and Sir Alex confided in him that he thinks the best manager in the league at the moment is none other than Maurizio Pochettino. Now this is very interesting, not just because that's his opinion and it's come out, but also of course that there's rumours that Man United are sniffing around Pochettino. Obviously, Jose Mourinho's got his uh, PR machine at work saying, I'm going to be the next manager. But from what I hear from inside the club, Sir Bobby Charlton and Sir Alex Ferguson are a lot more keen on Pochettino. Now, I'm not saying this is a positive thing, because of course, the idea of losing our manager would be appalling. But I feel safe talking about it, because I can't really imagine him leaving right now. Why would he want to leave a club where he can make this legacy, be there for 10 years or more, and uh, move us into the new stadium and potentially even win us a title where he'll have to go to a Man United where realistically he could be out of a job in six months. I just can't see it happening. Anyway, David Lammy giving it the big one. Nice story, I quite like it. Second today, Nabil Bentaleb last night played for the under 21s as did Josh and Oma against Southampton in a one-all draw and Nabil got on the score sheet. Wanted to talk about it a little bit because obviously Bentaleb, last season my favorite player, Got injured early doors this season, hasn't really had an opportunity to play too much. So I'm wondering, did he play for the under-21s as kind of a punishment? Has, he, has his attitude come out again? Or is he just trying to get as fit as he can do for the run-in in the hope that he will be able to get some minutes on the pitch? Obviously, Dyer and Ali and Dembele are so far ahead of him in the first team, it's hard to see well get in. But it is important that our squad players stay fit in case of injury. I'm glad for one that he played for the under 21s and that he scored a goal and that Josh and Oma is playing for them and keeping fit as well. Finally today, the evening standards say with absolutely no quote, so as far as I can tell, evidence whatsoever, that Kyle Walker is winning the race for the starting berth at right back against Man City on Sunday. They think that he's ahead of Kieran Trippier because of his experience and the fact that he's played in more of those big games for Spurs. I don't know, guys, what do you think? We've talked a lot about the fullbacks this week. Would you start Trippier or would you start Walker? Would you start Davis or Danny Rose? I'm happy with whoever he starts. My hunch is he'll start with Walker and Rose, but you guys let us know what you think in the comments section below. What will Pochettino do? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. We were just all over them, especially down the left-hand side. Uh, Lamella had quite a few options to cross it. Ericsson, there were a few...